about this I don't know how many times. Is this something that we need to act upon tonight? What I would like to do is what I would like to do is move forward in asking the board to give us permission to solicit on this, to put together um, what we are looking for and to sit out the strategic planning process and come back in February with some proposals and move forward from that point. I've been on the board about a year and during sometime I guess during the the middle of my first year, the previous five-year strategic plan was expired. It, you know, it was a five-year plan that was in place that I came in at the very tail end of, and it got sort of jumbled in with some other more pressing issues of the, of the week or month or whatever it was. But uh, but obviously it's time that we redo this. We've got new leadership here and um, sort of um, new leadership at the city, and you know, in, in a collaborative way, maybe we can um, parlay that renewed energy into a strategic plan and really define what it is we want to do. So I would uh, certainly be in favor of having them solicit proposals um, for information. I'd, I'd like to consider more uh, some discussion or some thought um, about the parameters. Um, and, and again, it goes back to what Roy said. Um, you look at what what we're funded to do. You look at our enabling legislation and what we're supposed to do. And there's there's a lot of things that that we, we talk about that we have we have no funding for it, we have no direction to do it. And and I don't know that we have the personnel to do those things. Um, I, I I look at, at the, the the hands that we have to do development and, and I think if we're not careful with the scope, without the parameters of what we're doing, we're going to get you spread so wide, so far and wide, trying to do things that we're not best at, that we're not funded to do, that we're not supposed to do. So I, I, what, what I would say is I've been doing strategic plans for 35 years. And you absolutely have to have a direction. You have to have a road map. That's what they used to say. You have to have a road map. That's what we do. But I would say we have to get the focus and we have to get the parameters. And then, yes, we have to do it. Anyone else? Well, well you know, if you look at it, we're almost a $30 million organization operation. We've got 500 and some odd acres of land to develop. We've got the assets to do that. And we need a roadmap to guide us as to where we want to go. And that's what a strategic plan does. You plan annually and out into the years. And if you don't have that roadmap, well, then you're not going to get where you're going. I mean, you, it's just, like the boy said, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. So, so we've got to you know which road we want to take to, to best put this organization together on the right track with them, what the community wants and, and needs. Sounds like everybody's on board. In, any further discussion of this issue before we call for a vote? Or comments? Any? We've got elected officials. You, you may weigh in. Yeah, I, yes, I will be happy to weigh in. Uh, I think you're right on point in what you said, Mr. Couple, that is a very big piece of apple to eat. And the more people you have taking a bite off of the apple, the more complex it gets. And, and that's what I, what I envision. And I know we face some of the same issues with the city in getting community involvement. Sure. So as Dr. Pittman indicated, I don't have a clear solution to that either. That's one thing I always have a concern with, sure. the apathy of some of the people not getting involved. But uh, from a strategic planning standpoint, I would be happy to be at the table. But I think we all have different missions for what we are assigned to do. Sure. And that is a challenge.